Morning everyone, um, working on a uh, VLV system, heat recovery, suspected compressor failure, the MHI FDC 335KX RE6. Uh, and I'll just quickly go through uh, how to test uh, for compressor failure, if you're an apprentice or if you don't know, you don't know. Um, so, first things first. Uh, isolate it, disconnect the power, and then uh, test each phase, make sure it's dead. Um, disconnect the compressor, these have been taken off, it's been disconnected. So, you want to set your testers, it's continuity, and then you want to test on your terminals. So, we're basically what we're doing is we're testing the terminals windings inside to an earth obviously we shouldn't be getting anything so if we test on there we're obviously getting a path through we'll see if it's the same on all of them so that basically tells us we've got a short grounding so that compressor, that compressor's at it. Uh, you can do uh, insulation resistance test. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to do that as well. If you've if you've got a megameter, might not do. I've never one for years. So I had to result, re, had to rely on my uh, normal testers. But so that, that's our tester. Get a decent earth. I've had to use that because this little clamp I'm using one hand. So I'll set it to. 500, which is what uh, this particular manufacturer states. We're testing their compressors. Yeah, so we've gone out two volts and we've got a straight path. So yeah, another test to say that it's, it's failed. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can test the inverter. This is an inter inverter driven compressor. We'll test if the inverter's good. Um, now with this particular model, you've got to flick um, JSW10 number 4 because it is MHI's KRE6. don't think it's just necessarily a current sensor, I think it's to do with it uses simulated um, DC voltage for the compressor but it does it in a way so it follows an AC um, curve as such. Um, so yeah, you need to flip that. Some manufacturers have other current sensors, uh, Dakin and Mitzi Electric do. Um, so we'll flip that, we'll power it back up, and we'll, I've got my um, little inverter checker. Well, I've already got the leads connected up. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just check that. So I've powered the unit back on. Um, just waiting for it to start up. Um, we'll put it in test mode and presser. So obviously now these are live. So you careful where you stick them, don't stick them on obviously anything metal. So we'll stick it in test mode. So what we should see is this light up and spin. Now, if you don't have an inverter checker, the other way you can do it is if, set your tester to volts and just make sure you have equal voltage between them now when this is ramping up and down it's a bit more difficult because obviously you're quickly testing each one but it's there or thereabouts so we'll see if it starts lighting up see there we go start lighting up probably cut itself out in a minute so it is spinning so what we'll do is when that's spinning up we'll just see what we're getting on here so 148 so that's just dropped out because it stopped so we'll see if it will get So it is a little bit all over the place. Spinning up, but they should completely light up. So 
So yeah, so yeah, quick and dirty way of uh, testing compressors really. Um, the other thing you might struggle on is if you have a locked compressor, uh, realistically what you're testing there for is how many amps it pulls and it cuts out of. Uh, each manufacturer has different, but normally some of these smaller VRVs, I've seen it sort of you cut out around 15, 16 amps and then that's it, you'd normally get a fault after a couple of tries. The other thing about the insulation resistance test is temperature. Uh, can make a difference. So if you had your crankcase heater on for a long period of time, that can affect it. If you've had liquid migration back to the compressor, that will affect it. The thing is, if you've got moisture inside the compressor, that will also affect it. But as you can see on that one straight away, uh, three volts I think it is, and it's yeah, gone to infinity, so the compressor. So, replacement compressor, uh, a few other things to test, to test out possibly why this compressor's gone. I mean, it's quite an old system uh, now, so when we do take the compressor out, I'll cut it up. Uh, we'll see if there's any copper plating uh, inside of it. Uh, we'll have a look at the windings and uh, we'll test the oil as well. Um, I have to do uh, some uh, rectification work if the oil's bad and stuff like that. So, yeah, alright. Cheers, guys.